And one of the last big tasks that I want to tackle is adaptive layout for our application. Recall what we wanted to accomplish was to take the details from the right and move it under the list whenever we're in a narrow layout, but when we're in a wide layout that we want it to be where it's at right now. So we'll add a visual state manager and uh, some visual states and uh, we'll, we'll get it to work. And then we'll do any cleanup on the UI that we need to before we add our last feature in the next video. So let's go and get started here. I'm going to, um, underneath this first grid that I added in the previous video, I'm going to start with the visual state manager and add a bunch of visual state groups. We'll create one visual state group uh, called visual state group and then I'm going to create a uh, single visual state and I'll copy it and paste it to create a second one. So this first one we're going to call wide and this one will be valid uh, when with the state trigger, so a visual state dot state triggers, and let me go ahead and create visual state dot setters. Great. And here in the triggers, uh, the minimum window width will be 800. We can test this with uh, with our phone to make sure it looks good with the phone emulator. Uh, that that will work. If not, well, I think it'll be fine on the phone. It's just a matter of the desktop, how it looks. At any rate, we'll test it. All right, setters. Here we go. Setter target equals. Okay, so this is where things start to get interesting, right? What we really want to do is take, let's see, we're going to take this detail grid, everything inside of the detail grid, and you know it does contain quite a bit, and we want to move it to a different column and row based on the uh, the current visual state. I think I've lost my mind here. There we go. So I want to set the detail grids row and column uh, appropriately. And to do that, I'm going to need to access it through its name, but I'm using attached properties. So how do I do that? Uh, well, I think we do it like this, detail grid dot, and then open parenthesis grid dot row, and we set its value equal to zero, and we'll do something similar with a column. So the column value would be one, and then let's go ahead and copy this visual state paste it and we want to set the minimum window width for this one to zero and this is going to be narrow and we're going to reverse it the row will be one and the column will be zero in the narrow visual state all right let's see what we have and then we may need to make some other adjustments based on that okay so let's go ahead and select our data and just go ahead and get it all queued up here. All right, we get one comic book left. Okay, great. And it looks like I still have some issues here on the right. We'll have to work on that in the UI cleanup phase. I'm going to get to a certain point where it goes off screen and you can see it below. Boy, that does not look good at all. So uh, I think we're going to need to make one more change and then a little bit of cleanup here. The change that we need to make, and let's just pick another one of these as well. Let's pick Carnage. Let's see if we get anything interesting there. No. All right, there we go. Okay, get something a little more interesting there. You'll notice that these run off to the side of the screen when we had a description or or a title, it ran off to the side of the screen. And I think the problem there is the width for um, for this entire column right here. Uh, so let's set that. 
And to do that, I'm going to give this topmost grid columns here names. And I can do that by using the x colon name equals. And we'll just call this column 1. And we'll do the same thing for the second column, like so. So here in the, the wide state, what we want to do is set the setter target equals column one dot width, and we'll make sure that's set to auto. And then column two dot width. We'll set that to star. And then we'll do the exact opposite when we hit the narrow. So we'll hit star there and auto there. And hopefully, that'll fix the problem. OK, let's run it again. OK, we'll pick Union Jack there. Great. All right, looks like I do still have some things falling off to this side. I think I need to wrap the title there, honestly. I'll, I'll wrap all the titles, and then I need to add some more margin on the right-hand side here uh, for this. So let's do this. Let's come down to um, the comic detail. And I want to well, move that over a little bit. I want to add in this uh, some text wrapping. So let's go uh, text wrapping equals wrap. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Even though we didn't see it happen, I want to do the same thing for the detail name text block as well. I should handle that problem. Now I'm also going to want to add some margin on the right there in both of these cases. So I'm going to put 10 pixels to the right. That'll give us a little breathing room. All right, let's watch, see what happens now. Let's pick claw. Looks like it's still grabbing. OK, great. All right, I like that. Um, it doesn't butt right up against it. That's good. That's good. Looks great. Let's pick another one here. Uh, that looks good. You can see that this was intended to be um, used in HTML. Uh, let's pick uh, Bishop. It's a pretty cool picture of Bishop. So we're still waiting for the comics to roll in. There we go. All right, cable, good, 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 good. That looks awesome. OK, very cool. All right, and so now let's see what it looks like when we um, when we actually scroll out. OK, still looks good, looks great. All right, the next thing I want to do, um, and I'm, I'm really enjoying this and enjoying the way it looks, I'm going to try it on a phone. So let's put it in the mobile emulator and run it there, just to make sure everything looks good. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and select one of these items. You can see it's listed below. Boy, that description area is going to be awfully small. But ultimately, yeah. Hmm. I wish there was an easy way to wrap around. Huh. Well, we might want to think about that. I don't really have a good solution in mind just yet. Other than <laughs> I could put this whole area in a, um, a user control, and then whenever we're in the narrow width, we could change its layout too. But 
that's not something I want to take on. I didn't even think about the way this would look in a, on a phone, but that would be the next step that I would have to take if I was wanting to release this into the wild. Okay, but I think it's good enough for now. Uh, I have one more cool feature that I want to add, and that is Cortana integration. So excited about that. We'll learn about it in the next lesson. We'll see you there. Thanks.